Oh, I think I'll go this direction. Huh. I cannot say that. It's too hard. I <laughs> know, yeah. Oh, you have one? Okay, with the bottom that zips down, you could put laundry in. So even you hit your head on this, it's gonna be softer. I'm attracted to entrepreneurs. They have personality traits that are captivating. They have a drive that is contagious. They do what few people do. They transform ideas into fully operational products. And their ideas often come from years of working at home in a garage or a backyard. Over the years, I've highlighted a few, like my brother Dave, who manufactures camping equipment in Spokane, Washington. Or John Brindell at Agile Off-Road, who, along with his partners Paul and Eric, have transformed the ride and handling of so many vans. One of the highlights of our time in Canada was meeting Roger and Agathe, the co-owners of Rolef. So today I'm sharing my experience with yet another pair of entrepreneurs who have made our van life better with the products they make. One characteristic of an entrepreneur is that no matter how successful they become, they aren't too big to do the grunt work, like installation. And when Roger and Agathe rolled into the campground in a Prius stuffed with product, I knew I had to meet them. When did you start the business? Lo long time ago. Yeah, how many years? Uh, we, we know each other 30 years. 30? Yeah. yeah so um, is that how long you've been doing? No. No, no. it's 15 years. 15, we, okay. We, we are doing the okay. screen. Okay. At the rally in St. John, we had ordered a replacement rear screen. There was nothing wrong with the screens that came with our rig. But I had discovered that Rolf makes a rear screen with a full privacy panel. And then I found out about all the other products they make. They listen to their customers and can address virtually every problem in every van. Here, Roger is showing me their side window covers. I've made insulated curtains for our van that I really like, so I took a pass on that product. But if you don't sew, theirs is a great alternative. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because because at that length you can you know, close at, at the height. Yeah. You the height you need or you yeah. walk. Yeah. And uh, you can you can you can wash people here. Yeah. Or you can close. Well, this is what they should use in their pleasure way. Should use these. We are in Montreal this morning, and it's not a very glamorous camping spot, but we slept great. It was a bit of a grueling drive to get here. I think we traveled a thousand miles in two days, something we don't like to do, but I really wanted to introduce you guys to the owners of this company. It started in a basically a garage, just like my brother's business did, and I love small companies that start that way and, uh, and grow. But first we need to pack up, have some breakfast, and then we're gonna go over to where they're operating right now. They're probably gonna move in the next couple of months. Rolf is gearing up to produce products for Winnebago, hence the need for larger facilities. We got a brief tour of their new location, which looked like it had to have been at least 10 times the size of the old. Upon walking into their current facility was what looked like hundreds and hundreds of patterns I was surprised at their willingness to make screens and shades for any rig, and they offer them in three colors, black, charcoal, and gray. I'm gonna test this one on the back of our seat and see how well it works. A lot of experimentation and making prototypes goes into any new product. This seat back organizer was a prototype. And this, I'll go outside. It's going the wrong way, isn't it? No. No. So, yeah. That would actually work. You just have to pass through between the seat, um, the back seat, mm -hmm. and the seat. And you just clip that together. Gotcha. 
<laughs> this is the new style and I like it. It's a little more streamlined, even though, I mean, the pockets are the same. It's just a little more streamlined look, but I like the lighter color as well. So it's 300 Canadian and 250, 250 US. Yes. Yeah. John is saying yes with the camera. We purchased their latest design, and I love how well it snugs the back of the seat and keeps items organized. Oh, okay, so you have... Oh, you have one? Okay, with the bottom that zips down, you could put laundry in. Yeah. Okay, and then you have a style. So this is the two colors. The two charcoal, colors, charcoal and black. black. and gray. And gray. Charcoal, black, and gray. And then and the other. The model with big pocket and okay. the small one. And this is the one. The one that we got. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yep. Love it. One of the most challenging curtains in a van is the sliding door window. We have never liked the MCD shades that came with the van, and the insulating curtain I made for the door takes up a lot of storage space. And so I'll explain why we're doing this, because I have made my own curtain to cover this, uh, especially for the cold and the heat, it, mine, the insulated fabric I use, but it's, it's kind of frustrating dealing with magnets all around and having to you know get it up and down all the time, especially on the sliding door because it's uh, blocked by you know, the screen and all of that. So these guys have a, something that will stay up permanently. And I guess in the meantime, you, I get a cleaner van. <laughs> because we were doing the front kit for a freezing ring. And then people ask for, have a hole on the side to have the, the, the hair. So we, we figured out to make it. And then they start to ask or to close with the screen, the side, the rear. And now we do all the curtain. We do the max fan. We do some uh, curtain and uh, privacy curtain for behind the seat. So we do a lot of stuff. Mm. It never finish. And now we arrive with some bucket. So it's quite amazing mm -hmm. and it's really good it's the best stuff it's just yeah. really high quality it's all high very high quality because you have the like all the products you have uv zipper you have no seam screen the material it's all uv uh fire retarder and uh, um, wet, uh, waterproof and as someone who sews, I know how difficult it is to put all this, this together. This one is a bit tricky to sew. I yes. don't have a lot of seam sewer uh, be able to do that mm -hmm. because it's very precise. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of us who get vans, we start out using Velcro uh, on different products, on, on different things that we make for the van, but the Velcro always fails. Yeah, that's the way you stick it at the beginning. When you stick it with... Uh, the alcohol. The alcohol. But sometimes, but now usually I'm always doing with the uh, fuel gas lighter. Like, oh, lighter like, fluid? Yeah, lighter uh -huh. fluid. <laughs> huh. I cannot say that. It's too hard. I <laughs> know, yeah. <laughs> Just like I can't say your name, it's too hard. <laughs> I get that. It's simple. <laughs> you, you don't know what's happening like, but we just say yes to, yeah, we, I'm gonna mm -hmm. see how mm -hmm. I can do it and I and I do it. So now I see some old, old one I make from 15 years ago and the material is still good. So, and even the, the zipper, it's very important because when you have a fade zipper in the middle, it's not nice. So. Your new facility looks amazing. Yeah, it's, it's big. It's got to be 10 times bigger than this. Yeah. At least. And I'm gonna be lost. <laughs> well, where maybe, where wait, are you? <laughs> maybe you wanna be lost. Sometimes that's a good thing. I will have to call everybody where you are. <laughs> but you're gonna have to add, well, right now, how many sewers do you have? Right now I have like 17. And, and you're going to have to hire another 30 or something, it looks like. You have yeah, that many machines up there. I have 40 machines over there. 40. But I don't need all 40 person because there is yeah, some there's always some down. Roger will come with a drill.
Whether you have a Max Air or a Fantastic Fan, they've got you covered. I was skeptical that they could cover our fan because there's a bump out knob that John hits his head on all the time. They did, and it works beautifully. It's good now with the... Yes, oh, much better. So even you hit your head on this, it's going to be softer. <laughs> okay, Roger's going to show us the bed they make. Did you guys make this for Pleasure Way? Uh, no. No? No, I mean... they sell one. So somebody will ask, ask oh. you that. Oh, you have to insert the stick. So this side you oh goes over the it's headrest the seat. headrest headrest side yes and this one goes over the door it goes over the door but you have three magnets here and ah. it stick over the door yeah so it doesn't fall when right. it's falling you see uh huh goes over the top it's hanging yeah. Uh -oh. So it's it's like a it's a cot. And now you start you start like this is you, you install you the install door. Mm -hmm. that, that piece you just, over uh, there. You just uh, and then you throw it over the. You, you just oh. and after that you brilliant. Finish, you finish here. Brilliant. Uh, uh, I just know. What's the weight limitation? Uh, 150. Oh, one, 150 pounds. Oh, and wow. I can never make it, but you can. <laughs> and you are too tall for the car. So just yeah, no, you, no, you're not too tall. You put your head. <laughs> you open the, head. the window. Forget about it. You're going to have to come up with a new uh, a new invention with a hammock. Uh. Well, you just... That is brilliant. Put some foam on there, and that's perfect for a kid. And the, and the cat. And the cat. Or that's the right. Dog. Or the dog. Wow. You gonna try it out, Tim? Mm. Very heavy. Oh, I think I'll go this direction. Yeah, it's this would be perfect for Finn, John. No, yeah, after that you can maybe adjust. This is yeah, this isn't bad at all for a kid. This is perfect. Oh yeah, you can adjust it. I'd say ten and under. Close, close, close your eyes. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. That was very clever and it doesn't take up much space. <laughs> oh, interesting. Oh, they have the higher opening for your van. Oh, that's good to know. Actually, they, they measured it to, to know exactly where to... So they custom the made this for you? Yeah. yeah. Oh. That's pretty much all what they do. They actually but can yeah, custom they, they whatever, custom. depending on what your setup is. Yeah. Because uh -huh. <laughs> our, our new van will have a a raised bed, permanent. Okay, okay. Wow, that's wonderful. Other. Yeah, completely. Yeah. 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 Perfect. And inside, you have the screen here. The shade, white. And you have another curtain. You roll it down, and you can have any item. Yeah. Beautiful. That one's custom, John, in the back. Roger noticed that our side curtain wasn't installed properly by the factory, so they removed it and reinstalled it. Now that's customer that? service. Yeah, <laughs> My father was an entrepreneur, and one of the early things he taught us was that ideas were a dime a dozen. It's the follow through that counts. Roger and Agat at Roloff have knocked it out of the park. Everyone who has battled bugs or the midnight sun say thank you.